What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Ryan. Today, I'm showing you guys my top 10 vintage shirts in my collection. I have a bunch of heat. These are just some of my current favorites, the ones that I've been wearing more frequently or that I'm going to be. I tried to put a lot of stuff in here that you guys haven't seen because I showcase a lot of my collection on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go do that. It's at Ryan Don't Worry. There, I post all of my fit pics. I post other pieces of my collection. Every now and then, I post things on there that are up for sale. So if you want to cop a piece or two that you see here, you never know. I might be having that on there for a sale. Also, I forgot to mention that I got a package in the mail today. We're going to be unboxing my all-time vintage grail, my holy grail of vintage shirts. I've been wanting this shirt for so long, never thought I'd get my hands on it. But you guys get to see my first reaction when I open it. So let's get it. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel because I got a lot more videos coming. Tons of content for you guys. We got styling videos. We got lookbooks coming. We got Disney lookbooks. We got 80s lookbooks. We got all type of lookbooks. Maybe a part two of this collection video if you guys like it enough. Shoot. Go ahead and like this video if you like it. Go ahead and like this bit if you like this bit. Also, be sure to drop a comment. Let me know which shirt in here is your favorite. If you got multiple favorites, then go ahead and let me know. So let's get it. Without further ado, my top 10 vintage shirts. First up, we got this vintage Kermit the Frog tee. This is really one of my personal favorites. I wear this thing so much. Just that graphic alone, man. That graphic hits, like that big green Kermit face. Like it's just an eye catcher. I get so many compliments and questions about it every time I wear it. And I love how it has that cracking on the graphic, if you can see. It has this sick Kermit tag as well. That's just like that extra detail that I love. Just nice vintage wear. The black tee is a nice little, you know, like a nice faded black color, like a charcoal gray slash black. And then it has that Kermit hit on the back says his name. That's cool. This one's actually from a series. I know there's like a, a bunch of different Muppet faces that are huge like this. So really love this one. Can't go wrong with it. Next up, I got a piece of real heat for y'all. If you know, then you know. But we got this 80s Back to the Future promo. I believe this one is... From 1985, when the first Back to the Future movie released. Never thought I'd get my hands on this, so when I saw it on eBay, I couldn't freaking hesitate. I had to snatch it, and I did, and I got it for a good deal. Um, this one's sick. Got the back hit, literally, because it's the back of the shirt. Back, front, Back to the Future. And I love this MCA home video hit right there. I think it's so sick. I'm a real fan of home video stuff. Obviously, I grew up watching VHS tapes, so... Anything that says home video, VHS, like it just brings me back to my childhood. It's one of my favorite things about shirts. This one actually has no tag, but still sick nonetheless. Up next, this is for all you horror fans out there. If you're a fan of scary movies like I am, then you know this one is fire. We got this 80s Beetlejuice movie promo shirt. Love the colors on this one, that big boohoo on the front. A nice neon green and it has the two eyes and the o's so sick and then it has that nice real movie promo back graphic that big hit it says michael keaton is beetlejuice the bottom the name and laughter from the hereafter love that little movie slogan and you already know just like i said if it has anything to do with vhs i need it so i love that warner home video hit the colors are crazy on this one i love the fit of it also single stitch didn't mention that. The Back to the Future one isn't single stitch, but this one is, so it fits nice. I can't wait to rock this one to Halloween Horror Nights. So excited for that, so. Love the colors on that one. This next tee is for all my Disney fans out there. You know, I'm a big Disney lover. That's the majority of my collection. Can't forget this one I got on. You already know I gotta keep that Mickey on me, boy! We got the 80s Mickey paint splatter shirt. All over print, double sided. This isn't included in my top 10, so I'm not cheating you guys. I still got 10 shirts here. But it has the blue 80s tag, one of my favorites. See if y'all can see that right there. You already know what's going on, blue tag boys. But I love that one. Anyway, back to this one. We got this Goof Troop promo. This is a great show. Honestly, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know if I've ever seen it. I was too young. This is a great show. But in general, I do love Max Goof. Max Goof is my favorite all time character. So this one is fire. Goofy is my all-time favorite character, too. They go hand-in-hand, -hand, father and son, you know. Gotta love a good father-son daddy duo. That one's dope. Got the nice little back hit. Walt Disney television animation. Love that. So I'm assuming this was for people who worked on the show. I could be wrong. But because it had that hit, that's what I'd guess. Nice clean on the back. And a party in the front. Hey! So it's on the Hanes Beefy tag. Beefy! Love the way these shirts fit. Real dope. Single stitch, if you care. There it is. 
Goof Troop T, colors are crazy. Moving on. Coming back to the Universal Studios merch. This one's also crazy. Never thought I'd get something like this in hand, but we got 1975 Jaws movie promo. Um, this one's actually an iron-on, but they made these iron-ons back in 1975 when the movie was released. I'm assuming this actual t-shirt that it's on is from 1975 too, just by the construction of it and the style. Um, but this one's real fire. Never seen this tag before, but it's cool. I tried to do my research. It's a Volley's tag. And I tried to do my research. There's like a date calculator if you put in the tag code. And it said this shirt, which should be about from 1975. So pretty sure it's original merch. Love this one. It's crazy. This one fits so nice too. Gives me that real 70s style, that 70s, early 80s style. Um, love it. The cracking on it is crazy as well, if you can see. It's crazy. This one's probably one of my all-time favorite shirts too. Probably in my top five, just because it's so unique. I've seen another shirt with that Jaws graphic, but never one that has this like blue, like pinch stripe. It's just so sick. Just like so traditional to the 70s era. Going back to the Disney, Toontown, we are here. We got this Roger Rabbit shirt. It's so crazy, man. The colors on this are unmatched. Hopefully the camera's doing it justice. The colors are crazy. That blue outline with the purple background. Roger Rabbit with the yellow glove that just hits. And my favorite part about it is that it's 80s puff print. If you can see that, hopefully the camera's showing it. But that puff print just hits in person, just gives it that extra pop. And then it has that back graphic too, just to put it over the top. Who framed Roger Rabbit, just the movie logo. So dope, man. Doesn't really have a specific tag on it. So yeah, just to show you it. Don't know what brand it is. It's probably just a generic tee that they made for it. So dope though. I've seen this one multiple times online actually before I actually got it. I got this one at round two vintage, by the way. Um, I went and I traded a 1995 Toy Story Potato Head movie promo shirt. I traded that and something else, but just some shirts that I really didn't want anymore. Didn't care too much for, but I got this one. Like I said online, it wasn't, I don't know. It just didn't call me online like that. Like it was cool, but when I saw it in person, the colors, it just, online pictures don't do it justice. Like seeing things in person, obviously, just sometimes it's way better. So colors are crazy. The puff print is what really sold me though. It even has puff print on the back low key. So you can see like the rabbit is kind of coming off the t-shirt. So sick though, man. I know I didn't mention, but a lot of these shirts have different fits. I'm a guy of many styles. So sometimes I like big baggy oversized tees. Sometimes I like more slim down 80s or 70s style fits. So. These fits are all over the place. Obviously the ones from the 80s fit a little tighter than the ones from the 90s. Like this Kermit the Frog shirt is definitely oversized. Back to the Future is more slim. Beetlejuice slim. Goof Troop oversized. And this Jaws one is definitely tight on the arms, but it's never nice. You can see my guns. If you can't tell by now, there's a pattern going on. It's Disney movie promo. Disney. Universal movie promo. Disney is just back and forth. Those are my two favorite categories. So it only makes sense for going back to Universal Studios. We got this 80s ET promo shirt. I love the cream color on this one. It's just different in that brown graphic. So cute. Oh, we got Elliot and ET giving each other a little hug. Brotherly love. It is from 1982. That's when the movie ET released. So dope that Reese's hit just like the orange pops off the cream so nicely. That's just the best part of this shirt. It goes so nice with the colors. That's his favorite candy. If you know, if you've seen the movie, it's one of the best parts. Single stitched. I'm lying, not single stitched. <laughs> this one's double stitched. The tag is super faded. Can't really see it, so here you go. The backstory to this one is actually kind of crazy. The only way you were able to get this shirt was in 1982 when the movie released. They had a contest that you had to win. I'm not too sure how you won the contest, but I seen a cardboard cutout on eBay um, that was promo for the contest. So. You won the contest somehow, and once you did, Reese's Pieces, the actual company, they would send you this t-shirt for free. So it's just so dope that this one was only a, like a contest prize. You couldn't just go to the store and buy it. So it just makes it a little more special to me. Um, but yeah, love that one. E.T.'s one of my all-time favorite childhood movies. Up next. Now this right here is one of my all-time favorite movies. It's probably in my top three favorite movies since I was a kid to this day. I'm a huge Pixar fan. Let me see if you can guess. I'm gonna give you three seconds to guess. Three, two, no, it's not Toy Story, you're wrong. A Bug's Life, baby, you already know the deal. 
This is one of my favorite movies, man. I love this shirt so much. Um, I actually have a cool Bugs Life collection, some really unique pieces in here. That front graphic is so nice. And you know if I say that front graphic, I'm being specific because you know we got the back with it too. And the back is actually my favorite part, um, or my favorite graphic anyways. That dot hit is so nice. I just love how it has dot. She's not a character you see too often on a Bugs Life shirts. And it says on video August 23rd. So this one has a cool little unique story. The reason it says on video August 23rd is because it is for the United Kingdom VHS tape release. The American release, I believe, was sometime in April. Maybe I'm wrong, but it wasn't August 23rd, that's for sure. This one is UK specific, but that's really cool. My actual favorite part of this shirt, though, is this freaking tag. Can you see that? Do you see that? It has Flick. That's my man's. Me and Flick identify with each other so well. That's my boy, my dog. So I love this tag. I've never seen a Bugs Life shirt that has a character specific tag on it. I've never seen that tag in general. So love it. Size XL, nice little baggy fit. So yeah, got a lot of love for this shirt, man. Can't go wrong with it. Fucking on you, baby. I'm a great baby. What? 21. Hey, sitting on two men. And going off of that Bugs Life collection that I mentioned, how crazy it is. We're going to go ahead and go back to back. We got two for two. Let's go. This one is another Bugs Life promo. This is a McDonald's collab. This is when they had uh, McDonald's Bugs Life toys. Says, so, did somebody say M on the bottom? Has this nice little film strip. And then it has Flick, Heimlich, and once again, I can't remember the ladybug's name right now, forgive me. But it has that nice little Bugs Life logo on the bottom. This one is on a Delta tag. Pretty cool, but don't think I'm done there because you know this one got the back hit too, boy. I love this one. It's that same logo that was in the back of the other one without dot, but it's huge. I love how big this one is. It's a real eye catcher. I get hella compliments anytime I wear it. A lot of people ask questions about it. Got the at theaters everywhere on the bottom. This is one of my favorite like pieces of writing or synthesis that I have on a t-shirt. I just love that it's actual promo, like saying the movie's in theaters now, go watch it. Just really cool. It takes you back to that day. So yeah, this is my first Bugs Life shirt I've ever gotten in my collection too. So this one means a lot to me. Never letting go of it. Don't ask. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I got a deal, hey. Why sign out a deal, hey? Get my partner in jail, hey. If I go to jail, hey. Money for the bill, hey. On to the next one. This is just a classic. I've never seen this shirt before, so this one's really unique. Let me know if you see one down in the comments, but this is the only one I've seen. This Snow White. This might be promo for when the movie re released on VHS. Not too sure, though, but I just love the way the graphic looks like. The colors are so nice. The fact that it's pink instead of whatever color their shoes are, I think brown. The fact that this pink is just really nice and unique. The colors hit in the sunlight. I got a lot of compliments on this one too. This one's double stitch on the nice Franklin tag. I love the way Franklin oversized shirts fit. Extra large. Nothing on the back. Super clean. I love the color. It's more like an off-white cream. It's not really white. It has that nice worn in look to it. it. Has little stains too. Honestly, some shirts, I don't mind the stains. I'm not saying I love stains, but you love a shirt so much that the stains don't really matter and they just add to the aesthetic of it. So yeah, this is one of my my real personal pieces that I'll never let go either. I got this from the homie at Scoop of Steve. Shouts out to you, bro, because you hit me up on Instagram and said you had this piece for me, so I really appreciate it. Love it, never letting go of it. Yeah. So technically that was the last one, but you know, we can't forget the all time holy grail. We got this package that I'm about to unbox, so let's get it. <laughs> Too smooth. <laughs> we got this package from my boy, Santa Secondhand. His handle will be right here. He's a real good dude. I bought a, uh, another thing off of him. I won a contest from him, actually, our Instagram raffle. But shout out to Santa Secondhand, man. Without further ado, let's get into it, baby. Let's go. Woohoo! Shout out to the boy Astro Man as well. We're gonna do the Astro Man dump. <laughs> the main thing, man. The main thing. Just a flip. Let's look how perfectly folded this is. Can you see? Oh, I know you see what that is. I know you see what that is. Let's get into it, man. Sega, 1998. Oh, desktop, new in package. 1998, Nightmare Before Christmas shirt. Oh, so crispy, clean. This thing is crisp, like brand new. I don't even know, I'm assuming he never even opened it because that package was sealed. Bruh, I'm dumb hyped right now. The graphic is so crispy. Can you, oh my goodness. On the second tag. So freaking clean, man. Single stitch too. 
if you care. Some people don't care, but I do. Boom. Nothing on the back. Super clean. Love this shirt, man. I've seen, I think, only one or two others, maybe, but never dead stock brand new in the packaging. So, woo! That's it, man. Super hyped to get this tee. The colors are crazy. One more detail shot of that graphic. Ay, ay, ay. It's so clean, bro. All right. That's it, y'all. Might have to throw this on for the end of the video just because I'm too excited. The shirt on. We got to put it on the body. Undead stock this joint. You know what it is. Is crispy. This thing is crispy. <laughs> All right, y'all. Appreciate you guys for watching. That is it, man. Had to end it off with a bang. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment which shirt was your favorite. If it's this one, this counts too. But let me know which was your favorite. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see. I got lookbook style videos, vlogs, a part two of my vintage tea collection. And so appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day. Now you hear? Deuces. I'm out. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Ryan. Today, I'm showing you guys my top 10 vintage shirts in my collection. Um, I want to show you guys these. What, what am I saying next? Other pieces. This obviously isn't my whole collection. I have a ton more shirts and just jackets. Do you like in puberty again? You throw it in, and I'm going to catch it, and then I'm going to start talking. OK, how do you want me to throw it? Just throw it. Like above the camera? Yeah, above the camera. Good. That's that hard <laughs> shit. <laughs> Also, I <laughs> also go follow my Instagram if you don't already. My Instagram is at Ryan Don't Worry. It'll be down right here. I'm not even gonna say it'll be down right here because they'll see it. Yeah. Also, go follow my Instagram if you don't. It's at Ryan Don't Worry. It'll be down right here. I keep saying that, man. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell I'm not gonna say it. Big moment, like I gotta make it this good. <laughs> so much pressure on you. Yeah, that's why I was like, hold on, let me. How did you do that? I never in my life thought I'd get my hands on this shirt, so I'm hyped that I did. I love how big this one is. It covers up a nice. Oh, wait, no. I love how big this one is. It's a real eye catcher. I get a lot of compliments when I wear this shirt. A lot of people ask me questions about it. Um, so cool. That's the wrong shirt. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh.